Hey there, Leo. Welcome uh, to your reading for the end of the year. We're going to do a past, present, future reading for quarter four. Uh, you have this overcoming challenges. It says a triumph will bring great change. Let yourself be open to victory. Love it. You have this bear tree. It says don't waste your energy or efforts on something that is clearly not bearing fruit. So if something isn't working, then obviously it's time to make a change. And you have the Ten of Swords here, and the Ten of Swords uh, could be saying that something is dead done over with. So uh, again, I would really pay attention to what's working, what's not working in your life, and you know, of course, double down on the good stuff. I feel this has been a major theme uh, for you in 2024 to make sure that you are uh, finding things that work in your life. I think a you know a key word for Leo in, for the rest of 2024 would be upgrade. <laughs> so any upgrades that you can make in your life, I would make those upgrades or updates, things like that, especially in work or business, but uh, also you know pretty much all areas of your life. It would would be very beneficial for you to, you know, kind of like upgrade your life. It wouldn't be a quarter four reading without the tower. So uh, every single person except for Taurus has had the tower, I think. I think it was just Taurus that didn't have it. it might have been one other, I can't remember, but um, pretty much everyone's had the tower. I think there are going to be a lot of global tower moments at the end of the year. I said it at the beginning of the year. I did a reading with Christopher from Serious Joy, and I said, buckle up for the end of 2024. And I definitely think it's true. So, you know, keep your head on straight. I wouldn't worry too much about it. Uh, you have the Ten of Swords, Five of Wands, and the Three of Pentacles. Uh, the Ten of Swords says something is dead done over with in your life. I really don't think this is like a big deal. I think you're just like moving on to a new stage of your life. Uh, this is also your past position. So you could have had a difficult um, ending in the recent past. Could be in any area of your life. Uh, you also have the Five of Wands. The Five of Wands has also come up for quite a few people. I feel like the Five of Wands is inner conflict. And, you know, I feel that there is a lot of astrology right now that could be making people feel conflicted about their life <laughs> or the direction that their life is moving. And in a lot of ways, do I, do I feel that this is a bad thing? I would say yes, if you are just stewing in conflict, being, you know, being conflicted, right? If you're doing something about it, then no, it's not a bad thing. So sometimes I think dissatisfaction is a good thing because dissatisfaction in life can make us create a change, right? And so that's kind of the feeling I get here with the five of wands is that you are dissatisfied with life and it, you know, it could be big or small. This does not have to be a major dissatisfaction that you're experiencing. It could be something small as well. It's going to be different for all of you, but I think that as long as you are being motivated to change and you are doing something to fix it or to change it, then things will be fine. I, I just would make sure that you're not like stewing in dissatisfaction, right? Uh, you have the Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles says teamwork makes a dream work. Three of Pentacles is also being recognized for the work that you do. I kind of feel like this is also part of the problem here, Leo, is that maybe you feel like you don't get recognized for the work that you do or you're not receiving enough recognition for the work th that you do. And the reason I'm saying this is because we go up to the temperance card and temperance is about kind of making a transformation or making a change. It's also a card of patience. And then we have the world right next to it. So just putting all those pieces of the puzzle together, it looks to me like you've been hoping to get recognition for something. And um, the good news is, is it also looks like to me that you are making changes to get more recognition for the things that you do. Uh, let's see. Uh, with the Ten of Swords, yes, you have the Death card. Yeah, this is, I would say this is probably like a positive transformation, you know, and I feel like you've had a very similar message for the past few weeks that if you experience something um, dying in your life or something going out of your life, that it's probably, you're going to see how it was a blessing in disguise, not really a bad thing. Uh, with the Five of Wands, you have the Four of Pentacles. Uh, four of Pentacles can be holding on too tightly to the past. Again, if you are feeling dissatisfied, it could say that you're not changing enough with the Four of Pentacles. And so maybe you need some big changes or uh, maybe you need a, a shake up with the tower showing up here, uh, with the four, especially with the Four of Pentacles because it, it you know, can just represent holding on to what you have been holding on to all along. And so I feel like being open to other ways of doing things, we see that right here, uh, would be a good idea. Queen of Swords is clear for the first time. Two of Swords, she thinks she only has two options, this or that, but she actually has a third option behind her uh, that could be work out a lot better. 
Uh, with the Three of Pentacles, you have the Queen of Wands. Uh, Queen of Wands is about being bold, being assertive. You know, this could be you showing up here in the reading as well. And whenever you show up as yourself, kind of puts you in a, a position of strength and power. But the Queen of Wands is kind of a card of learning as you go. And so if you are trying to make changes uh, to receive more recognition for the work that you do, then I feel the Queen of Wands is saying that you're going to have to learn as you go. Uh, next in the present position, you have this uh, Moonlight Serenade. It says change your tune on it. You also have this Reach for the Moon. It says go for it. So definitely a time for you to go for it, whatever it is that you are working towards or working on. And, you know, I would really go for the things that you're trying to create or trying to manifest or trying to have. And, I, you know, I think it's time to make it happen. I think the Change Your Tune uh, card is a perfect card for Leo right now. Again, I think that, you know, changing your perspective on the things that are happening in your life will make you more powerful. And also not looking at things as bad, but looking at things of, you know, how can I turn this negative into a positive with the Temperance card would also be very beneficial. Uh, also in your present position, you have the uh, Page of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, and the High Priestess. Page of Pentacles would be like something new. And so a lot of you could be working on something new in your life. The Page of Pentacles is the card of studiousness and learning. And it really seems to me like that Queen of Wands is saying that you have to do something where you're going to have to learn as you go. You might not have all the details. And the Page of Pentacles is just saying you will learn as you go. You will be able to figure out what you need to figure out. Uh, you have the Queen of Swords. Again, seeing things clearly for, for the first time. I think there's clarity coming. Like, I get a different feeling here. Like, she just sees things clearly, but I think you're getting bits and pieces of clarity. It's like you are starting to see things clearly in your life, uh, like the direction that your life needs to move in or better ways of doing things as well. Uh, she has clouds only halfway up her body. Uh, so again, she's seeing things clearly for the first time. I think what you are seeing is another way to do things. Uh, again, Two of Swords, she's kind of thinking thinking that she only has two choices, but she has this new island behind her, and that island behind her is a different or a new way of doing things, and if she does things in a new way, she will be very successful. Uh, you have the High Priestess. High Priestess is about trusting your intuition or tapping in to your intuition. It seems to be a very intuitive time, and you could be getting a lot of intuitive messages about things, and I would just look into that. I also feel that visualization would be very powerful for you right now. She has three stages to the moon on her crown here, and it kind of represents the fact that she sees the beginning, middle, and end of any situation she's entering into uh, before she enters into it. But she is doing this intuitively. I mean, she's doing this through visualization, not necessarily, she's not necessarily seeing the future. She's picturing her future as she wants it to go. And so I feel for a lot of you, this is about you needing to visualize as you want things to go. Uh, with the Page of Pentacles, you have the Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups can be being spoiled for choice. Uh, I kind of feel you are creating, or it's like you're opening up to more variety in, in your life instead of just, you know, again, thinking things can only go one way with the Two of Swords. And you know, this is a good thing, of course, Leo. This will make you more flexible. It will probably help you create more turnarounds as well with the Temperance card. So, you know, again, I like to see that. With the Queen of Swords, you have the Four of Wands. Uh, could be marriage, but you know, not really love reading. These readings at the end of the year have been very independent, I would say. And you know, after October 11th, all the personal planets, uh, you know, Mercury, Venus, and Mars start going retrograde. Not all at once, but between October 11th and the end of the year, all those planets go retrograde at some point. And um, what I would say is it kind of makes sense that it would be more independent <laughs> or there would be a, more of a focus on being independent. And again, four wands can be marriage, but the four wands can also be you committing to anything that sets you free. You know, the four wands truly is a card of freedom and the queen of swords could be you committing to a new direction in your life. Uh, with the four of wands, we usually have to complete one thing so that we can have a new beginning and you have something being completed right here. You have the new commitment and the, even the magician can represent needing to have a new beginning. So a lot of you, it seems, are committing to a new beginning. With the high priestess, I dropped it. 
You have the Sun. The Sun is the best card in the deck, of course. The Sun is your card, so this puts you in a position of power and strength and really allows you to get what you want from the reading. The Sun also says you need to pay attention to your attention. So if your attention is being drawn to something specific, you need to make sure to draw your attention uh, or use your attention. And, you know, it's kind of like a spotlight. You know, I, I always think of the Sun as uh, kind of shining a light on something that's important, and I would pay attention to your attention. Uh, next, in the area of the future position, you have a scare beetle. It says magic works through you. You have this fox spirit. It says think on your feet. Yes, I would say that the end of the year is definitely going to be a time for pretty much everyone uh, to embrace the fox energy. You know, being being nimble, being quick on your feet, uh, being able to make quick changes. The more flexible you are, the better at the end of the year. So I would just be as flexible as possible. I think the scarab is talking about like some sort of transformation and uh, being able to transform your situation because of the temperance card. With the temperance card, we can turn a negative into a positive. Uh, we can also turn a positive into a negative as well. So, uh, you know, obviously I would make sure that you are turning a, po a negative into a positive. Uh, you can also uh, take a positive and turn it into something that's more positive. So, you know, anything that you're working towards, I would try to improve it. Uh, I also kind of feel like saying, what are you waiting for as well? You know, he has this path right here behind him and there's this crown and this path is the path to glory. It kind of represents him. He, he, Sometimes I feel like he is trying to make something perfect, like he's trying to perfect his current situation before he goes and gets his crown. But really the card says, you can go and get your crown right now. And there's really nothing, there's nothing that needs to be more perfect. So if there's something that you want, I would go for it. You even have the um, the world right next to it. The world is an achievement. And like I said, if you have your, and don't you, oh yeah, you have this go for it card right here. So, you know, like I said, I think that the time is now. There's no reason for you to wait or to try to perfect your situation. Uh, you have the two of swords. Again, she needs to get to this island over here. Uh, the problem with the Two of Swords is that she is sitting where she has always been. You know, this marble bench here is meant to look hard. Her ass hurts Leo. She has been sitting here for too long, and so she needs to get up and cross the choppy waters and go to this island. Uh, the story of the card is that she's afraid of getting hurt by these two rocks in the water, but if she put her guard down, she opened her eyes, she took that blindfold off, she would realize that it's low tide, and she could easily walk out to this island, which would represent a new environment or a new place for her to be and then we go to the world and the world would also be like a new world so a lot of you could be stepping into a new world or you could be getting to the point where you are moving to into a new world quote unquote this is a world that you are creating for yourself and it could be full of achievements but you know again i think you have to walk out to it uh you have the magician uh, definitely a time of reinvention for you. He has a snake wrapped around his waist right here. The snake around his waist is the Ouroboros. It's a snake eating its own tail, and it just re represents reinvention. So I feel for a lot of you, you could be changing who you are, and it's not like you're changing or becoming fake or anything like that, but you're just making changes so that you can fit in to a new world. And uh, yeah, I, I think that there might be people who are saying that you've changed and all that other stuff. And I always say, whenever people say I've changed, I say, yeah, no shit, I'm not the same as you all staying the same for 20 years right so yes of course i've changed people don't like it when <laughs> when people change right of course but again i think we are here to change and grow as much as possible uh, with the temperance card you have the seven of wands seven of wands is a card of conviction it says the, when you know that you know that something is going to be successful uh, right here then it will be successful so it's really a card of having those deep beliefs and really believing that you can create success uh, with the Two of Swords, you have the Knight of Swords, doesn't even want to stay in my hand. Then I, I kind of feel like some of you feel, again, the whole thing about just needing to go for something right now. The Knight of Swords is normally a card of being too hasty, but I kind of feel that you are wondering like if you're moving too quickly or if you should move quickly or if you should make a move towards something. And I, I feel like all these cards are saying like, yes, you should make a move <laughs> with these cards. The Knight of Swords is something moving forward quickly as well. So if you're starting anything new, it could be moving forward very quickly. Uh, with the Magician, you have the Nine of Swords. Yeah, Nine of Swords, he is sitting again where he has always been. He's in his bed, right? And it, the Nine of Swords is a never-ending nightmare. He's just experiencing the same story. Nine of Swords doesn't even have to be that bad in life. It can just represent being on a hamster wheel. And so some of you, it's like your life might not be terrible, but you know it might be a little bit 
uh, you know, Groundhog's Day, let's put it that way, and you could just be thinking, like, I need a change. <laughs> and I feel like the magician is saying, yes, you need to change. You need to get up out of this bed. Your bed is sweaty. It's covered in sweat because you've been laying in it for too long. And now it's time to get up out of the bed to air out, take a shower, and step into this new world that we see in the next row because that is going to be the most beneficial thing for you. Uh, next, you have this uh, in the area of your outcome. You have the Star Blessings card. You also have this Energy Healing card. So you could be receiving a blessing at this time. And the you know the Star Blessing would be like some sort of blessing or a wish that you, you have been wishing for. And the Energy Healing card, I do feel the end of the year is great for any healing work that you want to do. So if you're wanting to you know do some healing work or you know go to a retreat or something like that, I think all that would be a good idea. Uh, you know, the Ankh is also a symbol of rebirth. And a lot of you, I feel, are rebirthing in the sense that you are changing, like we've been talking about. Uh, you have the world, the Ten of Cups and the Tower. The world uh, is a, an accomplishment, of course. So a lot of you are kind of reaching towards an accomplishment, I feel, uh, with that Temperance card. I feel like you just need to go for it, whatever it is. It doesn't even have to, you know, it doesn't even have to be anything specific. I, I just feel it's something that you feel will be an accomplishment. And you could easily have it if you would just uh, kind of like start working towards it, whatever it is. Uh, you have the Ten of Cups. Uh, Ten of Cups is fortune after difficulty. Ten of Cups is happy home, happy family. Uh, Ten of Cups is blessings. So there could be some blessings uh, that are coming in for you with the Ten of Cups as well. And I like to see that. Uh, like I said, not really a love reading. These readings really haven't been love readings, you know, but if you want love, Ten of Cups is a great card for dating. Uh, if you're already with a person, it's a great card for that as well. So it could just be, you know, a, a good feelings card. Ten of Cups also wants us to focus on happiness and doing more things that make us happy. And so, of course, I think that would be a good thing. Uh, you being a Leo as well, like no self-sacrifice, right? You know, I think Leos uh, sacrifice themselves a lot for other people. And I kind of feel the Ten of Cups is saying it's time for you to focus on your own happiness. It's time for you to make sure that you're doing things that make you happy, uh, which will make your, the people around you happy. And, you know, I think it's part of Leo's karma to realize that they, like, really, you can't make other people happy, <laughs> uh, no matter what, even if the things that you do are trying to make them happy, right? So I think you need to focus on your own happiness. Uh, you have the tower. Uh, of course, like I said, everybody's had the tower. Um, the tower really represents coming down to reality. Uh, these people have been building these walls of the tower up around them too high, and they've been ignoring reality, and now they need to come down from reality, or they need to come down from the tower so that they can be put back into reality. So a lot of you, um, you know, I think a lot of people, you know, like I said, Global tower moments for sure. Crazy end of the year. Mark my words, it will be crazy. So, um, you know, just keep your head on straight. Don't panic. <laughs> you know, all, all that other good stuff with the tower. Uh, the other thing I will say is that the world in the tower can simply represent a move. So some of you could just be making a move. Uh, with the world, yes, you have the emperor. Uh, the emperor is about bossing up. You know, the emperor is, he normally is sitting on his throne and he has his armor on underneath his cloak. So I sometimes feel that the emperor represents needing to be ready to take an opportunity, meaning that there's going to be an opportunity for you coming in at the end of the year. You need to be ready to grab onto it and not hesitate. He is ready to go at a moment's notice. He is prepared. Sometimes I think that, you know, really luck in life, for example, is just preparation. It's like people who are lucky are just prepared to be lucky. They are just, you know, they are more prepared for the luck. So I think that this is saying like get prepared for a lucky break or a lucky opportunity. Uh, with the Ten of Cups, you have the Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles says, is the juice worth the squeeze? You know, he normally the guy on this card is looking at the Pentacles he's grown and he is saying, like, is this worth it? Or is there something better that I could be doing? And I definitely feel for you, Leo, I've been saying this all year, that whatever you do for work, there's probably a much, much better way uh, for you to do it. Or there's probably a way for you to do it that would be much more fulfilling, or that could lead to more happiness. And that's what I would be focusing on here. Uh, this doesn't even necessarily mean that you have to, you know, get a new job or change your business. But it does mean that there might be some changes you could make in your business or 
or in your career, um, that would be very important. You can't make this up. With the tower, you have the Ace of Pentacles. I'm telling you right now, I feel like there is a surprise opportunity. I'm not trying to be mysterious or clickbaity here, but there's definitely some, I literally said it right here. I feel that there is an opportunity that is being presented to you and you're definitely gonna wanna take it, Leo, whatever that opportunity is, uh, because I feel it'll be very successful you know, the tower doesn't have to be a bad card. The tower can be a sudden realization that you have an opportunity in front of you with the Ace of Pentacles and you're gonna wanna take it. It could lead to changes. And it's like whenever we get a new opportunity as well, it can lead to a tower. It can lead to us changing our reality. But again, this is not a bad thing. This is a good thing. Uh, you have this flag card. It says, do not be tempted to lower your standards. Yes, um, I would say that, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, I thought you had the Knight, Knight of Swords here. You have the Knight of Swords. Sometimes I feel normally the Knight of Swords is going towards the past in a reading, right? Normally he's going in this direction. Sometimes I feel like the Knight of Swords can represent getting very close to something and then running away from it. And so I feel like this, because maybe you feel like it's above, above you in some way. And I kind of get that feeling here that there could be an opportunity for you to get something you want. Could be anything. And it's like, maybe you feel that it's like out of your league, so to speak, right? And I feel like this is, and, and, and in those moments, sometimes we go back to the past. And I feel like this is saying, do not do that. <laughs> there is something coming into your life that's going to cause you to level up and you need to accept it, whatever it is. You have this October card. We're in the month of October right now. And you have this pineapple card. It says reconciliation on it. I don't think you're like reconciling with a person. This and this card doesn't really represent that. It's more like the universe is reconciling the energy with you. So you could be getting positive uh, karmic energy coming in for you here. Uh, you have this not card. It says unsuccessful plans. I would be careful of anything that you're doing where you are just banging your head against the wall. Nine of swords. Nine of swords is banging your head against the wall, trying to get something that's not going to work to work. Sometimes those things consume us. And I feel like this card is saying, don't let something that clearly isn't working consume you. Do something else, right? Especially in work or business. Uh, you have this wind chimes card that says peace and harmony. I feel like that's what you should focus on with the 10 of cups. What brings you peace and harmony? What brings you peace and harmony will bring the people around you peace and harmony. And again, I wouldn't worry too much about other people. And I would focus on your own happiness because that's going to make other people happy as well. Uh, finally, you have this new job, new career, definitely work change. I'm not so sure that you are going to be completely changing your job or completely changing your career. I think this is more saying there's an upgrade or a seven of pentacles, a different way of doing things. And that's probably what's going on here, but uh, pretty interesting, Leo. So go for it. I think that's a message of the reading. Thank you for being here and uh, definitely enjoy your end of the year.